What's up Royals, it's time for another midweek update and this week it is all about desert ghosts. What's up, Royals? I'm Kai. Hope you're doing well. And I want to give you an update on my Desert Ghost Clutch. I actually have another one in the incubator. I was hoping that they would hatch and then give you an update all together. However, I am selling my Desert Ghost and they're kind of flying out pretty quickly. I've already sold three of them. So let's take a look at the remaining ones. All right, I figure I'd give you guys an update on this clutch before they all leave. I already had two of them leave and I forgot to give you guys an update on this one. But the two that left, Look very similar to this guy right here, and this is a Spectre Desert Ghost. So I had a female Spectre Desert Ghost and a regular Desert Ghost that were sold. This guy is sold as well. He's actually leaving later this week, weather permitting, of course. And check out this one back here. This is why I love pastel in Desert Ghost. This is a pastel Spectre Desert Ghost. So same as this guy. Just one more dose of pastel and just look at how bright it is. Look how much more intensity that it brings to the yellows it, while leaving the blacks still really, really dark. So yeah, you get a ton of contrast when you add pastel. That head is like completely blushed out. One of the other benefits of having pastel in a clutch is when you see a head like that, you know for a fact it's Desert Ghost. When you see a head like this one, it's like, eh, I don't know, let's wait till it comes out and, and uh, decide from there. But yeah, this guy is leaving. I got a few other ones. I got another DG visual and a couple pet girls to show you as well. Um, everything is going to be made available. Actually, everything is available on my Morph Market already. Start with this one. It's got a little bit of stuck shed on its head. You see it right there, just a little bit. So this is a Spectre female. All right, and you can see that it's it's very subtle. The mutation is very subtle. It looks very similar to a normal, but it's got very uniform pattern, very little alien heads, alien eyes, but uh, uniform alien heads. And then we have over here, by the way, these are all for sale. <laughs> if they would stop sliding around. This is a pastel head for Desert Ghost female. And then if we take the Spectre, the Pastel, and another dose of Pastel, combine that with Desert Ghost, you get this guy. So that is a Super Pastel Spectre. I mean, I'm sure it's Super Pastel. I'm pretty sure it's Spectre, and of course that is a Desert Ghost. So yeah, you can definitely do something here with these females and their, their, the fact that they're het for Desert Ghost. All you need to do is add another male uh, preferably a visual, then you'll get 50% Desert Ghosts, Visual Desert Ghost, and 50% Hets. That's kind of how I got into the project, except my my uh, breeding was reversed. I had the Desert Ghost Visual Females and a Het Desert Ghost Male. Um, I later upgraded to a Visual Desert Ghost Male, which made the breeding go much quicker because once I upgraded to a visual desert ghost male, the females were already up to size and the male just needs a year to get up to size. So that made things much better, but either way, you still get 50-50, 50% visuals and 50% heads out of a clutch. So like I said, these are gonna be available or some of them already are. I think the two females need to get posted up um, they were kind of on hold for somebody, but uh, they made the decision not to take them due to personal reasons. So I think I'm going to take some pictures of these and post them up on Morph Market. So anybody's interested in anything that I've shown off, except for the ones that are already sold, hit me up, let me know, and uh, we'll work something out. All right, there you have it, guys. I know this update is a bit short, and that's because it's only one Desert Ghost clutch. Like I said, I have another one, so make sure you guys stay tuned, stay subscribed, 
and I will bring you guys an egg cutting video as well as future updates. That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and remember, Rose for life. Peace out.